There's a peptide that does more for your skin than any of the creams that your favorite influencer sells. It's 10 times cheaper and it actually works. And today I'm going to be breaking down exactly what this stuff is, how it works in your body, what the research shows, and what kind of results you can really expect. But before we go any further, just a quick note. This is not medical advice, and I suggest that before you put anything into your body, you make sure you're consulting with a licensed physician. So let's get into it. Here's what GHKCU actually is and how it works. GHKCU is a copper peptide complex. That means that it's made of three amino acids, glycine, histidine, and lysine. These amino acids bind together to copper ions and create the active compound in your body. It was first discovered in human blood plasma back in 1973, and they found that your body's already making it naturally. You can also find it in your saliva and in your urine. Basically, GHKCU is your body's natural signal to start repairing damaged tissue, whether that damage is from aging, injury, sun exposure, or just the stress that you put on it from training. When your tissue gets damaged, your body releases GHKCU. So this peptide is telling your cells to make new collagen, grow new blood vessels, and repair what's been broken. It's kind of like your body's construction crew foreman. It's coordinating the entire rebuilding operation when something breaks. But here's the problem. As you age, your GHKCU levels drop fairly significantly. To give you some context, by 20 years old, you've got about 200 nanograms per milliliter floating around in your plasma. But by the time you hit 60, that number drops down to as low as 80 nanograms per milliliter. So more than half of it is gone. And that decline is going to show up everywhere. Your skin loses elasticity. It gets thinner. Wounds heal slower than they used to. Recovery from your workouts can take longer. And you'll even notice that your hair starts to thin because your follicles shrink. So less GHKCU means your construction crew is understaffed. Repairs happen slower and you get lower quality results. But when you supplement with GHKCU, it restores that tissue repair signal back to more youthful levels. It speeds up the healing and rebuilding process and improves the quality of the tissue your body produces during repair. Basically, you're giving your body back the resources it had when you were young. Now, there are two forms of GHKCU available. An FDA-approved topical solution that you're gonna find in a lot of common skincare products like creams and serums, this stuff kind of works on the surface. Then there's also an injectable version, which is a research chemical. This is not FDA approved for human use, but it works systematically throughout your entire body. So most of the research that you're gonna see out there uses topical application, but the injectable is going to deliver to deeper tissue and get into your bloodstream, which reaches places a topical solution never will. So think of the topical version as like a spot treatment for issues with your skin and the injectable version almost as a systemic treatment that you give your whole body. Okay, so let me explain how this stuff actually works at the cellular level. The first is GHKCU is serving to help deliver copper ions to your cells in a safe form that your body can actually use without the toxicity you'd get from copper just floating around in your blood. Copper is actually required for enzymes that make collagen, defend against oxidative damage, and produce energy. It's a delivery system that makes all that work. Second, GHKCU is going to help with gene expression. This is huge. GHKCU affects over 4,000 genes in your body. It's turning on genes that affect healing, tissue repair, and youthful cell function but it's also turning off genes that are responsible for inflammation, tissue breakdown, and aging processes. Research has actually shown GHKCU to reverse 70% of disease-related gene expression in certain conditions. So it's literally changing what your cells are programmed to do. Third, GHKCU is responsible for elastin and collagen production. It signals your fibroblasts to increase collagen types one, two, and three. For your skin, it reduces wrinkles and improves firmness and elasticity. For recovery, it strengthens tendons, ligaments, and connective tissue. For healing, it improves wound closure and scar quality. Studies actually show a 56% reduction in wrinkle volume and a 33% reduction in wrinkle depth after just eight weeks on GHKCU. Fourth, 
GHKCU is also responsible for helping with stem cell activation. It's waking up your dormant stem cells and attracting them to damaged areas. Studies have shown a 160% increase in stem cell growth, and this is how it's actually promoting regeneration, not just repairing your body. Fifth, GHKCU is also assisting with blood vessel formation, which means it's promoting the growth of new blood vessels. A term that you may hear that describes this process is called angiogenesis, and this is similar to what BPC-157 does. This means better circulation, better nutrient delivery, better waste removal across the board. You're going to heal faster and more effectively. Sixth, GHKCU is helping with the acceleration of wound healing. Studies also show 30 to 50% faster healing for people who are taking GHKCU. One study actually found that wounds were decreased by 64.5% versus 28.2% without it. That's a massive difference on how long it took for your body to heal. It works on cuts, surgical wounds, burns, internal tissue damage, and the quality of healed tissue improves as well. And lastly, number seven, inflammation and antioxidant control. GHKCU directly reduces excessive inflammation. It activates your cellular antioxidant system. It protects against oxidative stress and balances inflammatory response. So you keep the healing inflammation active while shutting down the chronic inflammation that breaks you down over time. So as you can see, this is an incredible, powerful, and versatile peptide that's doing a lot of incredible things for your body's repair. And I think this is exactly why so many people say it's done such great things for the quality of their health. Now, let's quickly talk about the differences between the topical versus the injectable. The topical version is gonna penetrate your skin layers. So it's primarily going to work on your skin and your hair follicles at the application site. The typical concentration for GHKCU in these products would be somewhere between 0.05 and 2% in those creams and serums. Basically, you're just gonna apply it to your skin once or twice daily. The effects that you're gonna see are better skin texture, reduced wrinkles, improved elasticity, and hair growth where you apply it. But be aware that the timeline that you can expect to see results would be between eight to 16 weeks for skin effects and 16 to 24 weeks for hair growth. But for this product, the safety is mostly established. So the FDA has already approved these products but it does have its limitations. It's only going to have local effects. This isn't going to reach deep tissues or any type of systemic circulation. But the injectable version is different. It's going to deliver systematically through your bloodstream. So this means that it reaches deep tissues like muscles, tendons, ligaments, and even your organs. These are places that the topical solution will never touch, no matter how much you slather all over your body. The cool thing is the effects of this version include everything the topical does, plus the systemic benefits, which include tissue repair, faster recovery, and improved healing throughout your entire body. And the timeline where you'd see these results is much shorter, where it could be as little as two to eight weeks, depending upon what you're targeting. Now, one thing to note, if you decide you're going to go the peptide or the injectable route, GHKCU is rarely used alone. It's very common for people to stack this peptide in a blend that includes other peptides similar to it like TB500 or BPC157. This is commonly known as the glow stack, which includes all three of these peptides in a blend. There's also another version that includes GHKCU that's very commonly used called the clo stack, which also adds the use of KPV another anti-inflammatory peptide. The idea here is that these stats combine skin and hair benefits with tissue repair and recovery. And most people using injectable GHKCU are also using one of these combinations. Okay, so now that we've gotten into the meat and potatoes of what this peptide actually does, I'm sure you're wondering what the side effects are because they do exist and you need to know them. As far as a topical solution is concerned, the side effects are pretty mild. You may experience some skin irritation, and very rarely will people also experience an allergic reaction in insensitive areas. But more often than not, it's pretty well tolerated by most people. The injectable version is a little bit different. One of the more common and painful side effects is a lot of people experience a burning sensation at the injection site. This can last somewhere between 15 to 20 minutes after the injection. 
like I said, this is very common. You may also see a temporary blue or green discoloration at the injection site. That's the actual copper. Now, some people also report a metallic taste in their mouth, and this is usually a temporary thing, and they'll also experience uh, slight changes to their appetite or energy levels. One of the biggest things that you wanna look out for when you're doing the injection is you wanna look out for allergic reactions because you may not tolerate it the same way. And then the other thing I also wanna point out is that if your dose is too high, you may experience copper accumulation. This could affect the way that your body absorbs iron or have other problems with skin discolorations or things like that. So make sure you're doing your research before you do anything like this. Now, there are a few groups of people who should absolutely avoid GHKCU. If you have Wilson's disease, do not take GHKCU. If you have some type of copper metabolism disorder, copper allergies or sensitivities, if you have severe liver disease, you're pregnant or breastfeeding, don't take GHKCU. If you have any active infections, do not add the copper because it can stimulate bacterial growth at that site. And one last thing, do not take peptides if you have any form of cancer, especially the ones that promote healing because it'll also help to heal your cancer cells, which is obviously a bad thing. All right, so here's my honest take. The topical versus the injectable versions of GHKCU definitely serve completely different purposes. But let's be very clear. The topical works great for skin and hair at the application site. It is going to take about 8 to 16 weeks for you to actually see some results. So you kind of have to trust the process and stay consistent. This is probably a really great option if your main goal is just skin and hair health. But the injectable version works way more systemically. It's going to reach those deep tissues that the topical version just can't access. Plus, you're going to get much faster results, especially for the recovery and healing process. But there are risks. This is not an FDA-approved drug for human use, so it's more of a use-at-your-own-risk thing. But what I'll say is that both the men and the women that I've observed using Glow and Clo have seen significant positive results with very few people reporting any significant side effects. Most everyone does mention the burning sensation when they inject, but for most people, it's something that's manageable. They're getting faster healing from training stress, improved skin health across the board, better recovery in between workouts, and overall reduced inflammation and joint discomfort. So if you're considering this, here's what really matters. Make sure you're setting your expectations appropriately for what you should be using and the results that you should see depending upon which route you decide to go. One thing to note, it's really important to only add one new compound at a time when you're building a stack for yourself so that you can identify what's causing adverse reactions if you do have one. One thing I see all the time when people are doing research is they try to dogpile peptides into stacks when they don't know what the effects are going to be. You need to make sure that you're keeping track of what you're using and see what effects you're observing before you change anything. So the GHKCU is definitely a tool that works, but again, keep in mind, it's never going to replace your nutrition and sleep, especially if your goal is recovery and skin or hair health. Now, one last thing. If you want help staying up to date on peptide research, safety protocols, where people are finding quality sources, there's a link to join my free school community found in the description of this video. Inside of our community, we share breakdowns of studies, practical strategies, and resources that make this sustainable and easy to follow. If you want a free invite, all you have to do is just tap the link, sign up for a free account, and I'll get you access. One more thing, do me a favor and drop your questions in the comments and make sure you subscribe for more real world insights on supplements, peptides, and proven methods to get lean and strong the right way. I hope this video was valuable for you and I'll see you next week for another supplement spotlight.